Well, um, yeah, so I just wanted to tell a little bit about my story and how I got interested in this stuff. So um, what was coming, really coming up to me was when I was younger, I was having trouble with my feet. I was probably like eight years old and my mom had taken me to a doctor who a, pe a podiatrist and he had wanted he was like oh yes we have to break all the bones in her feet and realign them and that will fix all her problems and then she was she was a little suspicious because the next visit we came in there and there was one lady getting it done and another lady getting it done they were like oh you you definitely want to do it now at this age get it done before this time and she kind of just questioned it and we moved on and went to another doctor second opinion and we just found out that everybody has their own way, uh, their own focus, and their own idea of what will help someone, and you kind of have to figure out what works for you. So that kind of led me on my uh, quest as I got older. Um, when I was older, I was having trouble with my back and um, a lot of lower back pain, so my mom took me to a massage therapist who taught me how to do certain stretches, and that was really fascinating to me. And then I had a friend who went to a chiropractor who said, well, now that you're 16, your bones are set. That's just how it is. You're going to have to have chiropractic adjustments two, three times a week the rest of your life. And I thought that was a silly perspective because I just had learned how to stretch and realign and take care Anyways, of it. So, um, so you've been doing this for 20 years, right, Kim? Yeah, I started, it's almost 20 years. It's 19 years right now. So what, what has energy healing done for you? Well, um, gosh, a big one was le really learning how to manage my stress. Um, while I was working at the ophthalmology practice, I was having a really hard time managing stress. It was really fast paced uh, practice. So the doctor liked to keep us super, super busy and moving constantly with barely any breaks. And um, I was having a lot of eczema. I was starting to have um, some issues with some inflammation in my body systemically digestive issues and so I just really dug into like what is happening how am how can I release the stress that I'm holding how can I pace myself better how can I kind of adapt to this work environment better and so for I spent a long time trying to do that and then I realized you know I don't have to work here I can work full-time on the energy practice in order to improve how I feel and really be available in a better way. I was working literally so hard with energy work when I would come home, yeah. heal my body to help with the eczema that was flaring up to help mitigate all this inflammation. So I literally would spend so much time every fascinating. So Kim, uh, let's go ahead and play that video that we, we shot and, uh, uh, and I will try to I did have my marketing team um, uh, condense it from the 45 minutes, it, so it's condensed to seven minutes, but I'll try to skip some more bits and pieces just to show people how you do energy healing. And that also, uh, I know that I have friends who have, um, who have uh, been, uh, who have messaged me. So we, I want to make sure that they can actually see that you do this uh, virtually as well. And uh, so let's go ahead and play that video. Okay. Um, here it goes. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing today is just doing some energy balancing. I'm going to check in on your body and your energy body and work on getting everything realigned so that your energy is centered around your physical body. We're going to get everything flowing and overlaying and really balanced and nice. But it starts with you laying back. And getting I, really I usually do but take like a nice de deep breath in through your nose and have your hands just below your belly button on your stomach your lower stomach like that yeah and nice low ex slow exhale and what you're looking for is to just focus your awareness on your body beneath your hands and how that feels <laughs> good and we're just trying to get the energy to flow from your stomach all the way down. Um, I think I went through uh, multiple emotions. I went through a moment where there was just, um, I just feel like all this breeze kind of around my, my hands. Yeah. And then also just feeling just 
this illumination. Um, and then also, you know, some different parts at one point started going through. And that's when you stopped me and you said you're feeling something like I'll make a copy. Like, I imagine you here and then your cylinder copy that should go all the way to the earth. I'll kind of comb through it as I imagine it and just check and make sure that you don't have stress. And so I did this earlier before we met on the podcast and I checked and you were holding some stress in the back of the grounding. So like right below your tailbone was some stress. And so I just imagined wrapping that in gold light and moving that away. So that way it was more flowing again. So you could feel grounded and not scattered or stressed, but grounded and centered and move through things easily and stay calm. But I just kind of checked in on that. And I was curious if you wanted to put your hands back below your belly button again and just check in and see how that feels. If you can feel like a flow. You know how you're saying it was like wind? Yeah. Like do you feel that? I, I just started feeling it. Isn't that nice? I just feel this coolness here. Yeah, and it's just coolness. And it's just you allowing it because it's always there. It's just it gets stopped up and blocked. And then when you pause and just notice, then it... <laughs> well, Kim, um, how about I let you um, give like a final, um, uh, your final um, whatever and uh, okay. at the end of the show. Oh, well, thank you so much for letting me be on here. And I'm happy to just touch base with anyone who's interested and curious and just reach out. You can text or call. I don't mind. Email, whatever. Check my website. and There's more info there. But thank you so much for having me on. I've loved this. And I, I hope you can keep working on it. Feel free to Absolutely. you talk to me about it.